Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to Man Cave Meals. Today I'm going to fire up the Kamado Joe Classic and we're going to cook a cast iron pan brownie. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do on this brownie project is get our Kamado Joe Classic fired up. I've lit a fire in the center of the firebox and I'm going to put my heat deflectors in the low position and then I'm going to put both halves of my grill grates up top and I'm going to set this grill up to run indirect heat at a temperature of 325 degrees. We're going to get started with our brownie batter in a mixing bowl here. I've got one cup of flour. This is all purpose flour. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda and I'm going to whisk that together. If you've got uh, self-rising flour, just use a cup of self-rising flour here instead. I'm going to get started with the next stage of this brownie batter in a decent sized saucepan. I'm going to melt three tablespoons of unsalted butter. As soon as that butter is melted, I'm going to add a half a cup of sugar and two tablespoons of whole milk and I'm just going to stir that up until that sugar dissolves and we're going to slowly bring this to a slow boil. After that starts to come to a boil like this, we're going to turn the heat off. We're going to take that off of the heat and then I'm going to add a cup and a half of milk chocolate chips and I'm just going to stir that in here until these chips are melted and nice and smooth. After we have that combined, I'm going to add two lightly beaten eggs and about a half a teaspoon or so of vanilla extract and get that combined. And once we have that combined, we're going to slowly work in our flour mixture. And once I have that combined, we are ready to transfer it to our pan. I've got my 10 inch uh, Finex cast iron pan here greased with butter and we're just going to put this mix in here and spread it out evenly. And if you want a thicker brownie, you could do this in an 8 inch cast iron pan or you could do it in an 8 by 8 square pan as well. And once we have that in the pan, we're going to sprinkle on another cup of chocolate chips on the top of this guy. And now we're ready to go to the grill. So we've got the Joe running along here at 325. We're going to toss this pan right on here and let this go for about 25 minutes or so and then we'll be back to have a look. Okay, we've been going about 35 minutes here. This may take a little longer in some cases. You want this guy to pass the toothpick test. You want to stick a toothpick in the center and it should come out fairly clean. So ours is ready. So I'm going to take it off the grill and we're going to let it cool. Okay folks, I've given this time to cool. I've pulled a slice out of here and I want you to just have a look at that. That's one of the most moist and flavorful brownies you'll ever find. So give this guy a try if you want to taste the best brownie you've ever tasted. And until next time, this is John Setzler with Man Cave Meals. <music>